Some Delta airline customers uh, walked away with some unbelievably low airplane ticket prices yesterday morning. Really amazing. Customers reported finding fares as low as $27 round trip. We're hearing some people even got Dallas to Chicago and Dallas to Hawaii for 50 bucks round trip. Airline says it was a computer glitch, of course. Delta says it has fixed the glitch, so too bad. No more low prices, but the airline says... It will honor the tickets that were sold at those extreme discounts. Once again, why does that never happen to me? Exactly, because we're always <laughs> working. Ha. That's true. All right, it is uh, 640. Okay. Coming up, a man who can get people to drop to their knees. I've had people drop to their knees at display cases. Oh, my God. They're looking, you know, like, well, look at all this stuff. A look at what's become the world's largest Batman collection. All right, federal unemployment benefits end tomorrow for 1.3 million jobless Americans, including more than 3,000 right here in San Antonio. The checks will stop coming after a program signed into law back in 2008 expires on Saturday. Around the world this morning, a kidnapped American says he feels totally abandoned and forgotten by the U.S. government. 72-year-old Warren Weinstein moved to Pakistan nine years ago to do contract work for the American government. He said it was self-defense and he claimed his lawyers weren't good enough. Well, now convicted San Antonio cop killer Manuel Garza Jr. is headed to the death chamber. Christina De Leon is live with the details on this. All right, it is 541. It's a local scam you need to know about. Why someone who says they're calling from a major company here in town might not be who they say they are. And wait until you hear just how much people are spending on Fido and Fluffy, Ted Garcia. <laughs> that story coming up right I'm not going to say this. Right meow. Right meow? Really? <laughs> really? You wrote that, didn't you? Yes, I did. A local park closing. Why, it's not all bad news. And can you feel it? Mountain cedar is in yep. the air this morning. Why, experts say it is going to be a rough sneezing. Get it? See what I did there? Yeah, a rough sneezing. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's going to be one I of those it. days. I definitely feel it. Can you it. feel it? Yeah. I, I was sneezing. I never sneeze. I was sneezing. The, our, our Grace White, by the way. I'm going to yes. talk about her because it's 5 a.m. <laughs> she has sneezes that will rock a building. I mean, when she sneezes, it's like a 6.0 earthquake. Absolutely. Yeah, Mike, we are at uh, Bab, uh, Babcock and Hebner at Thrifty Liquor, and you can see right now all of the damage that was caused by this out-of-control car. Now, we're going to show you something pretty interesting, the actual accident itself. Here is the security tape. We're going to play it right now and show you the car barreling through right there. Now, one person was inside. You may have seen him. He saw and heard the whole thing. Same thing, Michael. All right, uh, play along with me here. So you get this beautiful rental car and you're driving down the road. All of a sudden you notice something is weird with the fuel gauge. So you take it to a Nissan dealership. You're driving a Nissan, by the way. Come over here. The mechanic takes a look at the gas tank. When he takes out part of it, all of a sudden he finds a bunch of weed. Michael, we are on the red route, uh, kind of in one of those via buses that looks like a trolley. Rob is our driver. We're all alone, me and Justin here on this bus, and it's just one of the many transportation options downtown currently. Now, in the not-too-distant future, there will be streetcars downtown. Now, that has some city leaders seeing green, while others are simply seeing red.